Hello all, I know you're definitely waiting for episode 4 to come out with this slow and agonizing painful wait that we have until Tuesday. Don't worry, I'm with you, it hurts so good and your boy Inferno couldn't have that trailer breakdown for you guys to so go ahead and look deeper into episode 4's trailer because it was a great one that gave away some details but not too much that the episode is spoiled. That's really, really great. So let's go ahead and go into... Hi, a quick post edit here. I forgot to mention the key art for episode 4. I don't know why, but I did. So we have Clementine and AJ here in a barn, because you see, of course, the barn interior and walkers all around. And of course, the haystack there. Maybe the James barn, because we had a collection of walkers in the barn we saw in episode 3. So we do see that, of course, in the trailer for episode 4, which is definitely really cool. So maybe we're going back to that barn for a, a standoff there. I know the key art isn't indicative of the actual episode, so hey, we do see Clementine and AJ here holding weapons. We have AJ with the axe and Clementine with a gun. Now Clementine has not used a gun at all in the final season. We'll probably find out maybe why. It could be the Macaro Ranch, but we'll see about that. But Clementine has been strictly stuck with knives and, of course, bow and arrow. So, hey, maybe dire circumstances calls for that firearm. We shall see. But back to Inferno Kun from the past. Some screenshots, because I haven't really looked at those and talked to you guys about them. As far as that goes, then we'll go ahead and get into the bit of a breakdown for the trailer. So, first off, we have the first screenshot here which has a moment in the trailer, which is a cave, a dark cavern. That's very, very cool looking. That's pretty awesome, right? We have Clementine, AJ, and Tin, and also James in the cave here. Cool to see James actually coming along with us as of right now. That's definitely really, really great. And Tin as well. This is really great because I wanted more development with Tin, and having him kind of alone with us is definitely really great. And we'll get into this in the trailer a little bit more, but that's definitely really, really, really important because this might be Tin's chance to go ahead and shine in the episode and give us that much needed further development for his character. That's definitely really, really great. But of course, we do have James there as well, who might get developed a bit more because we did actually kill, of course, Lily, if you did that. And of course, having AJ there and Clementine there, no hat. So that's definitely a really awesome cave looking really, really great. Moving on, we have a bit of a screenshot coming from Clementine. We have her. I'm not entirely sure where she's at. This might be on the boat. And of course, she has no hat on. She has it not on in every single thing that's in this no reveal today. So you see some strings and stuff. Most likely on the boat, but not much to go ahead and break down here. We do have her looking at something. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but just a nice Clementine picture as far as that goes. Moving on, we have a really, really, really cool one. Of course, you know the tint of the flashbacks. I mean, not the flashbacks, but more of the dreams have been red, you know? We had the one where Clementine went ahead and saw the horses. That had a red tint to it, and this one does as well. This may be the McCarroll Ranch flashback, or at least some semblance of what's going on here. But you do see it's kind of a, a little bit of a, not a garage, kind of like a, a tunnel-ish kind of place. I'm not entirely sure. You do see some, some spotlights and stuff. And the most important thing you see, of course, is that vehicle. Looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, because it definitely looks like Clementine's vehicle at the beginning of the season. She had this awesome car, this little uh, muscle car. And, of course, it looks very similar to this one. So, obviously... Her car is totaled, but you know, here it's definitely fine. So this might be a little bit of a flashback back to when she had her car at first. So this could be near or at least somewhere in the past where we had the McCarroll Ranch, of course, being there. So that's definitely really awesome. This could actually be, you know, some kind of like build up to that, which is definitely really, really great to see as well. So moving on, the last bit of screenshots we have are two more. We have one of Minerva, not much to go ahead and breakdown here but we have her and then we have of course Lily as well both out in the night in the forest and I hope they are looking at one another that would definitely be really cool to see some tension build up between Minerva and Lily possibly if of course you know Lily's alive for you that could definitely be really awesome but enough of that we have a breakdown to go ahead and go to I'm gonna go ahead and play that and while I do that I'll break it down and stop it and various things like that let's go
You may have to forgive me, this trailer is all over the place as far as, you know, being in a single spot. It is not doing that, so unfortunately, we had to go ahead and jump around a lot. But starting off, we do have Clementine on the ground here. Not much to it, but she has no hat on, of course. I'll say that once. No hat on throughout the whole little bit of a trailer here. No hat. Okay, gone. Bye bye I don't know where it went, but it's gone, unfortunately. So we have Clementine on the ground here. This seems to be after the boat explodes because you do see that a bit later on in the trailer where the boat actually explodes and this might be when she's on the ground of course after the boat exploded. Of course AJ's not really shown right now but of course it would make sense that hey boat exploded, she's on the ground, she looks up, walker. That's walking kind of weird but we'll go ahead and keep on going. Never. Okay, we have some scenes in the cave, which was in our first screenshot. We saw, of course, James there. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you see it, he's not here. So that means that this might be a, a little bit of a split thing, okay? We have James being dead, this happens, or we have James being alive, and of course, he's there in the cave with you. So that is very, very interesting. Hopefully, this will be for me, okay? I won't have James there. So I'll just have with me, I guess, looking at the screenshot here, or I mean the clip, we do have Clementine, AJ, and Tin only. That's definitely really, really great. That means a 100% spotlight on Tin as a character. Back to what I was saying at the beginning with the screenshot, I want Tin to have this be his moment. However it goes, I think that he can actually go ahead and pour out a lot more to us as, you know, players who want to know more about him, how he got his burn mark, and just more about him we know enough as far as personality goes so i think more about his personal life and what has happened to him why he ended up there and his relationship with minerva that would definitely be awesome to go ahead and explore at this very moment moving on a bit you do see that there's some shadows you know we have them moving that could be people or it could be walkers most definitely walkers you'll probably see that a bit in the future in this trailer of course and then as far as that goes, we go ahead and keep on going on. We do see AJ looking very, very mad, of course, having his little bit of a scar for whenever Dorian kicks him determinately if you go ahead and save Violet or Lewis from being uh, mutilated with their finger. So that's definitely a really cool detail there. We do see him being mad, of course, back on topic. And then Clementine looks very, very worried as if he said something that was very, very angry. And then James looks over, of course, him being in the cave, probably if you if you shot Lily, and he looks very worried as well. So I wonder what's going down with AJ. Is he very angry? Is he, a, is he a psycho now? I'm not sure, but we can go ahead and assume some things as far as that goes. But we shall continue. Now here we do have Minerva walking, it's probably nothing, but she's walking with the axe of course on her shoulder and she's shaking her head. Why is she doing that? I'm not sure. Maybe she realized her axe are bad and various things like that. But this is very very curious because why is she shaking her head? Would she be very disappointed in you know what happened with the whole situation here? What's going on with Minerva? Why is she so sad? Go ahead and comment down below. I want to actually see what you guys think because I am... Uh, clueless right now what's going on with, with Minerva as far as this goes. So once again we have Clementine and AJ of course out by the pier with the boat not in view. Probably after of course it blows up and they're together. Then it cuts to Minerva then back to Clementine and AJ of course. Clementine possibly stepping back. I'm not entirely sure if she is. She might be. But then we have AJ here as well turning his head over to Clementine and looking very very shocked. So that's definitely really interesting. I wonder what's going on i say that a lot but there's like some things that you can pick from these expressions that i think could possibly be something that comes out of it that's definitely really really interesting to go ahead and say or see as of right now then we have of course clementine holding her hand out violet of course grabbing it and violet's not very happy she's not very happy even with clementine holding her hand and of course lastly we have minerva looking not sure if she's looking at Clementine and Violet or possibly looking right at Lily because we go ahead and see her we cut to Lily once again so 
it's cutting a lot to these characters but i'm not entirely sure if these things are related so i don't want to go ahead and say oh minerva's looking right at lily and very very mad at lily but then we can go ahead and say hey what if she's looking at violet and clementine and kind of jealous who knows right i don't know they could be not related they could be just random scenes random scenes pieced together so it was definitely really interesting to see Lily holding the crossbow of course that's definitely really really cool to see I wonder if she'll still be trying to kill Clementine after the boat explodes if you kept her alive that's definitely really really cool and hopefully she ends up coming back later on to keep on being an antagonist for the rest of the episode or at least at some point until we hopefully get our revenge if you kept her alive and kill her because I want to kill her right now. I spared her and now I want to kill her. It's that simple. But lastly we do have Clementine here who is holding the bow and arrow with AJ behind her. Possibly, could possibly be aiming it at Lily who's aiming a crossbow at her. Therefore they have a standoff there. Who knows how these scenes are actually pieced together. So those are all just speculation. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and move on. Rush away your So here we have Clementine diving of course with AJ, there's a grenade thrown at them which is highly unfortunate and of course they had to evade that. That's definitely really interesting to see. So there might be a bit of a fight after the boat explodes and we're down on the ground so that could be what happens there. Very interesting as far as that goes. A bit of a focus on 10 on the camera there. Hopefully that means that he will have a pretty big scene as far as the cave scene goes and more development for his character. Like I said. That's definitely really really cool to see. This is an edit of the video but I'm not sure why I didn't see it the first time. I don't know. But here we have Clementine. She looks very very different. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh it's because she has short hair and she looks a bit younger. Well this might be most likely definitely will be her Mikhail Ranch flashback model showing us the events of what happened after Clementine left New Richmond and went looking for AJ at the Mikhail Ranch of course. At the end of A New Frontier, she had her hair cut by Javi, that explains why it's short. So that's definitely going to be really, really awesome. Definitely, 100% confirmed, like it hasn't been already. That was sarcasm, but we are getting the Mercurial Ranch flashback, looking at this awesome new, modified version of a younger, with shorter hair Clementine, obviously a little bit different from her regular season 4 model, so that's definitely really cool. In short. Mikhail Wrench flashback is imminent. Moving on a bit, we do have James holding his walker mask and then dropping it as if he's like, I'm done. I'm out. I can't do this anymore. So I wonder what will he actually, you know, because that could mean that he's very like upset with Clementine because of having AJ kill Lily and he might just give up and just be like, yo, there's no point. Screw life or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. That's definitely really interesting to see him dropping his walker mask because it could be a possible just like anger within him that that awakens whenever Clementine ends up saying hey shoot Lily so I wonder what will happen with James character because that's definitely really really interesting as far as that goes we do have some scenes of Clementine shooting the rest of or at least one of the guards at Lily's of course boat before I think it blows up I believe maybe or after could be after but we do have some of them actually made it out we do see them surrounded by walkers and them shooting out so that definitely means that some of them do end up surviving so that could mean for a possible you know fight between them being alone or just them having lily with them so that's definitely really really interesting and of course since they gave us the whole violet hand holding thing we have to have a lewis hugging with aj that's definitely really cool to see Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff going on as of right now. I'm not gonna like, you know, sit here and be like, oh, pause, here's this, oh, pause, here's that. So here is just me going through all the stuff that happened in this span. It's a bunch of stuff here. So that boat falling over and blowing up, one of the best scenes that I hope will be the best scenes that I've ever seen in The Walking Dead. Hopefully, that could be really, really cool. Bro, look at that. It's a boat falling over and exploding, and Clement and AJ are running away from it. 
That is so cool. That is really, really cool. Tell me it's not cool, okay? It's really, really cool. But that's really awesome to see. Then we go ahead and move on. We have the cave where we have some walkers in there. Of course, gotta go ahead and fight some walkers. And then we move on. Once again, we have Clementine doing a whole door, holding the door with some walkers coming in and various things like that. Possibly could be the barn. I'll get to that in a minute. Then we have James here. James in the cave once again. He pulls out his hand and there's a cut there. So right through his walker glove, there's a cut. That's very, very interesting. I wonder who did that to him. Could it possibly having a fight with AJ? That would be really interesting, possibly. That'd be really cool, in a way. But you know, I'm not entirely sure if it is. It could possibly be from Minerva or somebody else because Lily is dead. Who knows, right? That's definitely really, really interesting. I wonder what direction James is going in for episode four. Really cool to see. Going on, we do have Clementine holding on to AJ. He's falling down possibly and Clementine grabs him, but I lied, Clementine does have her hat here, so I wonder what happens here. This could be later on in the episode, actually, because they go ahead and find her hat, and of course, that could be it. So it might be a bit on in the episode, so that definitely could be what this is. Moving on, we have some scene with Minerva shooting and yelling once again. I'm not sure what's going on there with her. She has a gun. She had an axe the first time, so I'm not entirely sure if she'll have a gun later on in the episode. Therefore, it could lead to her possibly shooting at us or the bad people at the Delta. I'm not sure. Next, we have AJ flipping out on this walker. He's stabbing it multiple times. And if you observe your surroundings, you do see the barn that we went to to go ahead and see James' collection of walkers. So you see the chime there. So I wonder why they went back there. It could be a temporary rally point for like safety reasons or whatever reason it is. But we're going back there. That's pretty much really cool. That place was a nice place, you know, very, very harmonic. Really awesome. But moving on once again, we do see Clementine jumping the bridge. Hat off, of course. This could be earlier on in the episode. And then, of course, you do see Clementine not make it, probably. The camera's over the water, and of course, you do see her hand kind of reaching for AJ's as if she didn't make the jump. So that's definitely really interesting. Hopefully this is early on. I don't want to see her at the end doing this and then possibly falling down to her death. It's not a very, very big fall, but of course, you know, there's a river down there. Could soften her landing a little bit, but that's really, really interesting to see. But I'm not sure if AJ can actually, you know, pull up Clementine. She could actually just use AJ as a little bit of a grabbing point to go ahead and pull herself up. But that's definitely really interesting to make it very dramatic kind of flashing it out, her reaching for AJ's hand. So that's all we have for this trailer breakdown. Definitely a lot of stuff here that is really, really interesting. So hopefully episode four will be a great conclusion to Clementine's story and will be awesome. I'm hoping that it is. I have a great hopes and I'm very, very sad about it ending, but I want to see it end and I want to see how it ends. So that's it from me as of right now. I'm Inferno-kun, if you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome Walking Dead content while it still lasts, man, for the most part. Comment down below your theories on what's gonna happen in episode 4. It's looking very, very, very intense and I'm really excited for it. So see you guys on Tuesday and of course before that for some final videos on some various things that I have cooking up for you guys. Thank you all for the support on the channel. It's been really, really great. And I'll catch you guys next time on The Walking Dead.